relationship advice Reddit post from somebody named No Asparagus 3117. I guess some people don't like to eat asparagus because it makes your pee smell foul. <laughs> I thought the pee smelled foul naturally. But anyway, so it begins, should chores be a mutual job? This is something that comes up rather frequently as issues with women and their supposed duties in regards to their gender roles always are a subject of discussion. Meanwhile, men's duties in regards to their gender roles are hardly ever comes up. <laughs> it's never a question that he should be going to work and earning the bacon while I sit at home on my ass and eat bonbons. <laughs> Don't question that, but always question the female's gender role. Yeah, because she needs to be able to leave the plantation, but he can't. That's why men's supposed duties in regards to their gender roles are never a point of discussion. Only the women's. How it's so evil and wrong. They're so oppressed. Look, she's always expected to do this, that, and the other. But he never has to. Yeah, yeah, that's so evil. Mm. Anyway, before I get to this story, I'd like to ask those of you out there that like and appreciate the raw, red-pilled, in-your-face nature of my content to please consider going and checking out my website, therealistphilosopher.com. That is therealistphilosopher.com. You'll find a lot of useful, interesting social media links at the top of the page. You'll also find a lot of different services I offer offline, as well as at the bottom of the page, three ways you can donate if you'd like to support my work, my content creation. Number one, my Bitcoin wallet address. Number two, my Cash App address. And number three, my Patreon, which is a per piece platform. I make about eight pieces a month. It's a subscription style platform. So if you donate a buck, it's like eight bucks a month. 50 cents, four bucks a month. And you, you can also cap that if you're afraid that I'm going to make more pieces of content, which would, of course, raise the amount that you would be donating that month. So go check that out, therealistphilosopher.com. That is therealistphilosopher.com. I could really use your help. So should chores be a mutual job? And, of course, the person asking this question is a woman. So I had to leave my job last year due to COVID closures. We had no one to watch our elementary age children. Mm -hmm. Okay. I didn't want to waste my time at home. So I enrolled in an advanced degree program at WGU. Lovely. Yeah. Spending what is now his money to advance your career aspirations. That's, that's just great. Even though you have multiple kids. I've completed about 50 credits since October. Oh, yippity doo da for you. I, I would only say yippity doo da though, if you were actually studying something that were, you know, useful and could earn money. <laughs> By attending full time. Oh, you could attend school online full time while having multiple kids. Isn't that nice? Might explain why you're not doing any housework. <laughs> But God damn it, I'm progressing my career aspirations and improving my human capital. I shouldn't have to do any housework. But you're not making any money now. You're not contributing now. He's contributing all the fucking cheddar, yo. So you should have to do housework. I also take care of the kids, do all the errands, all the cooking, all the laundry, help with all the homework. What homework? They're not in school. <laughs> and all other chores. This included yard work when it was warmer outside. I also schedule all maintenance stuff, cars, house, etc. And, by the way, there can't be that much to do in all these categories when you're attending school full-time. <laughs> what kind of parent can a school, attend any kind of school full-time if they have all that many duties to do? Give me a break. Give me a fucking break, okay? My husband works full-time in management and has also been heavily focused on building a podcast and speaking company. Okay, yeah, so he's doing more to make more money while you're just playing at fantasy making more money. It is successful, and he's at a point where he can leave his regular job and do this full time. Good. <laughs> oh, but the hell with his dreams. Only my dreams matter. Yeah, but we decided I should find a new job before he leaves his regular job. Yeah. Oh, no, you don't want that. <laughs> I want to continue to get educated, which makes no money, <laughs> and ramp up our debt, which takes money away from what he's making. <laughs> I want to pursue my fairy tale career that'll never happen because I'm just going to be getting educated for the next 10 years. <laughs> he built this business by being totally absent from our lives while building it. Uh, yeah. By the way, I doubt he's totally absent. He does have to eat and sleep, so I think you're exaggerating. But, um, uh, yeah. So, 
He's ambitious. <laughs> that ambition, by the way, has allowed you to pursue your career goals, your educational aspirations. You're not complaining about that, though. I want to be able to do that and have him around. <laughs> you can't have it both ways. Somebody has to be bringing in the fucking bacon, you idiot. And by the way, once he gets this going and it becomes more successful, he'll probably have more free time. It takes a long, long time to build a business. Once you have things set up, though, and all the infrastructure in place, you'll have more free time. And by the way, again, his aspirations, his ambitions is allowing you to do your little faux education, faux building of human capital, to pursue your fantasy bullshit with your online education at home. Uh, so what are you complaining about? He has cut himself off from friends, makes no effort to spend time with me at all, barely sees his parents, and makes a small amount of time for the kids. He's building a business. He's building a brand, you idiot. <laughs> Which in the future will benefit both of you. Since we decided I would go back to work, I created a polished resume and started researching companies and applying a bit. Sometimes job searching feels like a full-time job. Well, you know, the answer to that is to take a job, and then you don't have to keep searching for a job. Ban balancing all of my duties can be really difficult. Yeah, yeah. But you're able to spend time with your kids and your husband when he has time. So it's apparently not as difficult as what he's doing. So what are you complaining about? And not having my husband present in my life leaves me being stressed and overwhelmed. It's so interesting that he's not. Do you th what do you think? How do you think he feels? Do you think he's stressed and overwhelmed? He's not complaining. He's doing more work than you. My husband is a clean freak. Every single day he comes home and never says hello, asks about my day, anything like that. He starts pointing out things that he doesn't feel are done good enough. And that, that's your job, isn't it? I love it. I love it. I, I love how women equate work with money, though they're making none. <laughs> oh, yeah. And by the way, why are you complaining? He's the one bringing in all the money. That's your way of contributing, right? Keeping the house clean, doing what you can to support him so he can continue to build his brand, build his business, and be more economically independent, which again benefits both of you. What, what, what do you have a problem with that for? Uh, it may be some clean laundry that isn't folded. Here's a good reason to complain. You're not working. You, you don't have a job. And if you have enough time, <laughs> this is so interesting. You clearly had a successful career before you started this bullshit online education at home. And if you have enough time to take fucking college courses online at home, you've got enough time to fold the fucking laundry. You know what they say, if you're going to do something, do it right. Eh, apparently she never heard that. A couple of dishes from the kids' lunches that I haven't put in the dishwasher. Yeah, because that's so hard, right? Put a dish in a fucking dishwasher. Or maybe... Uh, the throws in the family room are messed up. I guess he means the, I guess she means the throw rugs. We're not talking about a dirty home or anything like that. We're talking about a few general things from a home that people live in. Well, then why do you have a problem with it? <laughs> Look at this. If it's such a small, uh, non-issue, then why are you upset? I sweep and vacuum several times a week, wash and fold laundry daily. I pick up everything around the house, keep the bathrooms clean and all that stuff. It, well, apparently not. <laughs> Apparently not the insatisfaction, and he's the one bringing home all the money that pays for your internet, that pays for your fucking online courses, that pays for your food, that pays for your rent, that pays for your utilities, that pays for your car, that pays for your phone, that pays for your phone bill, that pays for your fucking car's insurance. Guess what he's got a right to do? Demand that things get done a certain way, because that's how you're contributing, and he's the one bringing home the bacon that's paying you. And don't give me this bullshit about you not being paid. That's total bullshit. All the things I just named, and then some, are your pay, you dumb bitch. I cook all meals from scratch because I do enjoy cooking. If my husband is home, he will come into the kitchen and complain that I'm not cleaning as I go. Okay, well, that seems a little nitpicky. I'll, I'll agree. And start putting away things I'm using. When I tell him, he sounds like a little bit of a control freak. I'll agree with you there, all right? It's like he's not even giving you a chance to do the job before he starts complaining that the job isn't done. When I tell him I'm still using those items, he accuses me of lying and being a slob. That is a little weird. So he's a little bit of a control freak. All right, I'll give you that. When he has days off... Wait, 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 wait! <laughs> I thought you said he didn't have days off. Didn't have any free time. Now he does. Oh, he doesn't spend it with us, though. When he does have days off, he spends the whole day working on his other business. So he doesn't have days off. <laughs> Idiot. Don't <laughs> And... 
He does not believe that he should have to help with any of the cleaning around the house at all. He shouldn't. I'm sorry that you don't want to hear that. Should you go and work at his job? I understand. Lady, do you believe that you shouldn't have to do any of his work? What, what? Everything it goes in one direction, to her benefit. When it comes to responsibility, oh no, for the other person. Oh, no, 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 no. But he should be responsible for your duties. What about your responsibility to do his work? See, see how nonsensical and ridiculous it sounds when I flip the script, but it's the same logic? Why don't you go to his job? Don't you think you have some duty, some responsibility <laughs> to do his work, to go to his job and do his managerial duties? No, that's silly. It's the same argument you're making. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> what a dopey broad. He doesn't clean up after himself, leaves shoes all around, leaves crumbs and spills and stains off all of his clothes, then expects me to take care of it. <laughs> yeah, silly him. <laughs> silly him. His boss expects him to take care of all the management duties. You should be filling in <laughs> for some of that. It's your job, you dummy. Just like his job is his job, your job is your job. What do you think? You have no response to fucking abilities? This is the fucking feminism making these special pleading arguments. <laughs> his duties are off limits, and I shouldn't have to fill in or do any of those. Meanwhile, my duties, well, we get to call them into doubt and question them and imply that I'm somehow oppressed because I have to do these things. <laughs> that he should have to do some of them. <laughs> which makes my life ever more easier, which is really what feminism is all about. That and man-hating. <laughs> and destroying relationships so that men and women can't get along. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Destroying the family, essentially. I mean, lady, <laughs> this, this is so stupid. So she continues by saying, if he does end up helping with something, he complains the entire time and puts me down for not doing the cleaning first. Well, yeah, I, that's your job. I love the entitlement, the, the, the sense of entitlement and the disconnect from reality, the, the double standard. You need to go to work and do your job, and I'm not going to help you with any of that, but when you come home, you should help me do my job, <laughs> even though you're bringing in all the money. Lovely. Now he's telling me that when he is working from home, he will be too busy to do other things. Well, why should he have to? I so he's going to expect me to work more than full time. Who gives up? The work you're doing right now is at work. Let me explain something to you. If it's not making money, honey, it ain't work. It's a hobby. Some women don't get. They always bitch and moan. Well, I'm working too. Is it making money? No. Does that work? <laughs> My industry is healthcare administration and directing. So I'm going to school full time. That's not work. Is it paying money? No. In fact, not only is it not paying money, but you are taking money out of the account where he puts money in from the job that he has that makes money. <laughs> it's a net negative. Uh, you're supposedly doing all this cooking and cleaning and errands, which allows you to go to school full time. And that full time work is you taking away from the household and taking money out of the joint account that you share with him that he's the only one putting money into. So I do think it's unfair. <laughs> Uh, that you were doing this. Unbelievable. Uh, I love the entitlement of this broad. He put me down and complained at me while cooking dinner last night. Well, I uh, have to ask what you did wrong. What did you do? Did he have something to complain about? Yeah. No, she doesn't tell us specifically, so you know that she did something that he had made, gave him good reason to complain. He put me down about cleaning right before bed. Y you know why? This is why, honey. He's going to work working two full-time jobs, you've got one job, you're taking on fucking education at home, which is deducting from his bank account that he's working hard to fill, and you're draining, as women tend to do, and you're complaining that you have too much work. You're willingly choosing to take on more work than you have to, which is taking away from your ability to do the work that actually supports him and his ability in doing his work which is bringing home the fucking bacon that is allowing you to indulge in this fantasy bullshit of <laughs> continued education from home. <laughs> well, you've got kids and a household you need to take care of, which is your real job. It's not a bullshit, it's just a hobby unless it's paying money. He's got good reason to complain. 
Then I got up this morning to a long message about me not meeting expectations. Oh, okay, so. Well, it does have good reason to complain. I've got to wonder what you're doing that is leading him to have to take on this role. How many duties are you shirking you're not doing very well? And it's causing him a lot of stress that I'm not meeting these expectations. Oh, jeez. Why'd you marry him? It sounds like you hate him. Why don't you get out? I haven't finished using his money to fulfill my dreams. Ah, I see. And then said he can't trust me to work because I'm unable to keep up with the household duties. Sounds like he's trying to shame you into, you know, working harder at the things that are actually bringing money into the household. I've never had an issue with working. I've always worked. Yeah. I have no idea what he's talking about. So I do have to disagree a little with his method of motivation. It seems like he's trying to use negative reinforcement to get her to act in a positive manner, which never works. They do this in the military. <laughs> Uh, because if you can't deal with a few harsh words and a little discipline and some stress, you're going to get your head blown off in combat because you're going to freak out and get a lot of other people killed. Uh, so there, that's a place where negative reinforcement is uh, its a good idea, but not with your wife. So I say the way he's going about these things might actually cause her to rebel and do the exact opposite of what he is demanding she do. But at the same time, uh, he's got a point. Women love to do this. They love to do this. Make everything one-sided. Never talk about what a man has to do. They never talk about the man. It's always about the woman. She's oppressed. She's got to cook and clean. She's got to do all these female stereotypical gender roles that are expected of her. Oh, that's oppression and slavery. Meanwhile, never talk about the dude. He's equally enslaved. He's equally oppressed by your own logic. He's got to go to work. He's got to fight traffic. He's got to deal with a boss. Oh, he's got it rough. Just as rougher, rougher than you, honey, because you got a choice. You want to shirk off your duties and he complains, you just give him a blowjob and he goes to bed. Case closed until the next time and the next blowjob, which you may or may not give him. Oh, but how well can he hold you to task? I mean, really, he's not your boss. He's your husband. He could demand stuff to a certain extent. But if you don't do it, if you don't do it, he can't fire you. <laughs> oh, he fires you, then he's gonna pay you alimony for the next hundred years. Child support. <laughs> he's still paying you to do work that you didn't do when you were there. And now you're gone, so you're doing zero work, and he's still gotta pay you. It's a raw deal for a man, but we don't talk about all of the oppression and slavery and gender roles that he has to adhere to. Nor do we apply your arguments to him about how he should come home and help me do my job, but I don't see you going to his workplace and helping him do his. It's so one-sided. It's so gynocentric. It's so female-centric. It's so entitled to these bras. Anyway, let me know what you think. Is he being unreasonable in expecting her to do the household chores that are her responsibility because she has no job and is bringing in zero money? Are his expectations reasonable or are they unreasonable? Let me know in the comments section. And please like and subscribe to my BitChute channel if you have not already. BitChute.com forward slash The Realist Philosopher. And again, if you really like and appreciate the raw, red pill in your face nature of the content that I do, go check out my website, TheRealistPhilosopher.com, and consider making a donation. I could really use your help.